Hello guys, this is Ian. Uh, let's uh, let's pick up from where we have stopped. Uh, we have stopped on the third guiding principle, which is uh, lettered C. And as I said, the typographical error jumped to letter E, which now we shall uh, we shall continue. The provision of medically safe, legal, accessible, affordable, and effective reproductive health care services and supplies is essential in the promotion of people's right to health, especially the poor and marginalized. Um, first of all, again, we shall, we should, um, we should ask ourselves what is, what is the higher right there, the right to health or the right to life, because without Without the right to life, what the what the hell is the right to health? And if you establish more or emphasize more the right to life, then you could also then you can proceed to the right to health. That's the logic there. Uh, and the poor and the marginalized. Uh, I have I have an I have one thing to uh, say to these uh, congressmen. Start with. Uh, Sorry about that because uh, that's that's one of my uh, little relatives. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry for that one. Um, as I've said, what I have to say to them that I I mean I wanted to say to them that if they want to uh, uplift the poor. Or the poorest of the poor, or the class DE, or the marginalized people. Whatever you say about it, they're poor. Okay. Um, better start with developing themselves, developing themselves, developing their. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. Sorry again about that. Developing. Uh, developing themselves. Uh, start. I mean, uh, encourage them to. Uh, Encourage them to to walk and stand at their own feet and not depend on on alms and all that stuff. So and on the medically safe again we say the the premise that contraception or our age care services medically safe stuff uh, there is also there are always side effects and um, let's say uh, a little bit of caution there. Legal, ac accessible, and affordable and effective. Uh, I can't say anything about that, but all I can say is better make food and all other basic commodities more more accessible more afford and more affordable than starting it with these cares RH care services and all that stuff let's ne let's go to the uh, to letter F the state shall promote without bias all effective natural and modern methods of family planning that are me medically safe and legal um, as I said uh, everything natural is better than everything uh, modern or sh uh, uh, artificial or should I say uh, they have s they have alternate it as modern um, yeah so let's jump into letter G a uh, very very long paragraph here the state shall promote programs that one enable couples individuals and women again women to have the number and spacing of children they desire with due consideration to the health of women and resources available to them. Okay, um, uh, I'm pro women. Okay, uh, I don't have a girlfriend, but I am pro women because I have a, a female sister. Hey, uh, uh, sorry about that. Too redundant. I have a sister. Okay, uh, and I and I have a mother. So. I'm pro women, but not to the point that you're overemphasizing. Oh boy, uh, you're overemphasizing the 
the women clause on such bill because how many times have I have I how many times have I have I seen the women clause in House Bill 4244 I cannot count I cannot already count but it always is there anyway uh to achieve a quick equitable act allocation and utilization of resources how would he do that if our transportation and uh, our transportation and our way of processing these things uh, and also the um, and also the uh, um, the vehicles of course is affected there are not that to the standards especially the roads leading to uh, the smallest of barangays or the smallest of communities how would you uh, achieve equitable allocation utilization of resources if you cannot uh, focus first on our roads on our uh, ways of doing it on the processing of all these stuff Three, ensure effective partnership among the national government, local government units, and the private sector in the design, implementation, coordination, integration, monitoring, and evaluation of people-centered programs to enhance quality of life and environmental protection. Here is the catch. As I am speaking, um, Bataan is already, uh, is already against the... Uh, Okay, let's start with Barangay Alia Ala Alabang in Muntinlupa because I'm I'm living in Cavite so just there in Muntinlupa uh they're against the reproductive health bill or or this one the the HB4244 they're against it uh Laguna is called an and uh, as no contraceptive zone or no condom zone the the whole province of Laguna and Bataan recently, uh, they they have uh, they have uh, they have voiced out their opinions that they don't want this one. They don't want this one. They don't need this one. They have better things in mind than this uh, legal action. So I, I also guess Batangas is also. Uh, taking part in opposition to this so you cannot please every province every local government unit and in the private sector uh, it's also a house divided because uh, there are private sectors who are supporting it and there are also private sectors who are against it now I'm eight minutes in the video so I have to catch this stuff I have to uh, uh, speak, uh, catch up for uh, yeah, before I st in the fourth in people centered how would you uh, establish that people centered if our polit polit politicians are drowning themselves in money and not into public service that's that's I hope that's not a blow blow Fourth, conduct studies to analyze demographic trends towards sustainable human development. And five, conduct scientific studies to determine safety and efficacy of alternative medicines and methods for reproductive health care development. You should put this as top priorities. These two last two uh, <coughs> programs. Because uh, before you can implement it, you should have concrete uh, concrete plans you should have concrete re uh, data so that you could you could uh, make a, a good law so that's it letter H the provision of reproductive health information care and supplies shall be the joint responsibility of the national government and local government units now as I've said Bataan uh, Barangay Ayala Albang uh, and Laguna are are not interested or should I say they're opposing this one so how 
would the national government appease that? Because in the idea, in the idea, the local government is closer to the people than the national government, and the people are the so is the people is sovereign. So that means the local government must know the sentiments of the people. I, I mean, better than that of the national government. So I think uh, these provinces or in these areas have considered the the sentiment of the people and they don't want to uh, harm them with harm them with this uh, stuff letter I active participation by non-government women's people civil society organizations and communities is crucial to ensure that reproductive health and population and development policies plans and programs will address the priority needs of the poor especially women Again, women. Why do you have to exaggerate that one? Um, but in the non-government, people's civil society organizations, and why do you have? Why the hell do you have to uh, ensure population and development policies and all that stuff? <coughs> is is a population? Is the population uh, a, ba a, a barrier to development? That, that is my question. Is population have to be uh, a barrier to development? Because population there is known as controlling it. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, every, that's just on top of my head. Letter J, that while this act recognizes that abortion is le illegal and punishable by law, the government shall ensure that all women needing care for post-abortion complications shall be treated and cons counseled in a humane, non-judgmental, and compassionate manner. <coughs> I'm sorry because... I'm sorry because... Um, I'm having these cuffs, but... yeah. Uh, yeah, illegal, punishable by law, yes, that abortion. Uh, post-abortion complications, treated and consulted in the humane, non-judgmental? Uh, I see the contradiction here. Because you say that abortion is illegal and punishable by law, but you want to treat uh, these women... Who have post-abortion complications in a humane, non-judgmental, and compassionate manner? If, if you want to, uh, if, if it, I mean, is, uh, uh, finding or imprisoning, uh, uh, women who are, uh, involved in abortion in an abortion, judgment, yes, because. Uh, you said that it is illegal and punishable by law, but you're contradicting yourself in this. They're contradicting themselves in this clause because how the hell would you <clears throat> counsel them if how the hell would you counsel them in a humane, non-judgmental, and compassionate manner if in the first place, <coughs> if in the first place, abortion is illegal? Well. Um, uh, Christian, 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 uh, teaching or the Catholic teaching is that judge the sin, not the sinner. Okay. Uh, it, it means that, um, you have to teach that woman a lesson in a way that she will not do it again. That's it. No strings attached. Uh, I'm sorry if I have to uh, make that moral thing. And I'm on the last 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. And I did not finish this one. So I'm going to have a follow-up of... Uh, follow-up of... Section 3. The, the rest of the Section 3. And I'm going to section part of Section 4. So for now, thank you for your time. And stay tuned. Bye.